Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel Gate Geometrics Engineering. Here we learn and explore the things related to Geometrics Engineering. Before starting our lecture today, I must say, if you are new to our channel, then join this. And also join our Telegram channel, because there we upload some extra notes. And also we are going to upload question series over there also, for your practice. So must join our Telegram channel. So starting our today's lecture, on the topic sensors we know that sensors are the instrument which are used for taking observations sensors are classified on several aspect already we have seen resolution in our previous lecture depending upon spatial resolution spectral resolution radiometric resolution temporal resolution there are different type of sensors in this lecture we are going to see sensors on the basis of energy source sensing mode and product output on the basis of energy source there are two types of sensors active and passive on the basis of sensing mode a scanning type and non scanning type on the basis of imaging what type of uh, output it is giving sensor imaging and non imaging so let's see them one by one on the basis of energy source passive sensor passive sensors are the sensors which do not have any their own source of energy they rely on some other source of energy they don't have they don't have their own source of energy they rely on something it can be sun solar's energy or emitted radiation from the objects so because of it if some sensor who have dependency on sun solar energy they are not able to give output at night they, they are not able to give uh, observation at night but those who are depending upon emitted energy they they can give uh, observation on night because objects emit radiations in day and night both but sun is not available at night so those sensors which are who are depending upon solar's energy are not able to gi give observation at night next active sensors active sensors have their own source of energy and due to which due to which they can give observation at day and night both the these sensors uh, enlighted the targets by their own source of energy they sense the radiation towards target and then reflected back radiation is observed uh, by them and then further processes uh, happen so these sensors are uh, better than passive sensor they have uh, observation in day and night both moving further on the basis of product output imaging sensors and non imaging sensors are there as per their name imaging sensors are capable of producing image of earth surface and they are not capable of producing image so in imaging sensor we can we can identify which is the building which is the forest area which is the water body we can identify by watch, watching over that but in non imaging sensor we can't identify which thing is what because their pixel values represent depth either depth distance radiance this thing this kind of things so we are not able to identify which feature is this which feature is that so some of the example of imaging sensors are digital camera on satellites synthetic aperture radar real aperture radar these are the imaging sensor non imaging sensor microwave altimeter laser water depth meter gravimeter etc now moving further type of sensors on the basis of their sensing mode is scanning type sensor non scanning type sensor before seeing this we will see what are the important components of sensor because this will help in understanding scanning type sensor and non scanning type sensor so in components of sensor we will see four components there are various components but we will see only these four because these are important these are good to understand one is dispersing element filter spectrometer and spectroradiometer and detectors let's see them one by one dispersing element dispersing element is a part of sensor which is used to disperse the incoming radiation radiation into several wavelength we have known we have also done in our uh, early grade schooling that prism is used to give seven different 
color of uh, several different rays from white white light so this dispersing element is doing nothing but dispersing the incoming radiation into several wavelengths several wavelength into x spectrum you, you, we will able to get the different wavelength separately by using dispersing element so there are two types of dispersing element used in sensor one is prism which works on the refractive index phenomena phenomena of refractive index and another is diffraction grating which works on the phenomena of phase difference so these two dispersing elements e either one of them is used in sensors for detection of se se detection of wavelength separately now moving further filters filters are used to transmit a specific range of wavelength means by using filters we can transmit uh, a specific wavelength means for example these are the infrared these are the visible these are the microwave by using filter before sensor we we can pass our desired wavelength only to the sensors so filters works in this this way there are several type of filters long long wave pass filter short wave pass filter band pass filter depending upon the which wavelength it is passing towards sensor they are uh, long wave short wave and band pass filter now some some example of uh, filter like cold mirror cold mirror is a long wave pass filter hot mirror hot mirror is a short wave pass filter so some of these are the some examples now moving further radio meter spectrometer and spectro radio meter so let's see them one by one radio meter is a device which are able to measure electromagnetic radiation matlab the device which measures the electromagnetic radiation in some interval of electromagnetic spectrum are called radio meter spectrometer spectrometer what does we can say that spectrometer is a sensor equipped with dispersing element now read read the definition a spectrometer is a sensor capable of dispersion light into discrete wavelength so this this is done by which thing dispersing element so we can say that a spectrometer is a sensor equipped with dispersing element it can be prism it can be diffraction grating anything so this after dispersion of light into uh, dis discrete wavelength and then a spectrometer directing them towards detector also then it is sending this and discrete wavelength towards detector also so we have read radio meter and spectrometer what is a spectro radio meter by the name you can say that it is a combination of both radio meter and spectrometer so it does the same thing also is spectro radio meter is a device which collect the dispersed radiation means the radiation is already dispersed using a spectrometer a spectro radio meter in bands rather than discrete individual wavelength so it also collect the electromagnetic radiations and also it is capable of dispersing light into discrete wavelength so it is a combination of both radio meter and spectrometer now moving further detector this thing is important because if we understand detector we will understand A scanning system of scanning and non-scanning system of sensors very easily. Detectors are element which are used to convert this energy into electric form or electric signals. These energy, when incident on detector, detector gives a voltage output which is used to store the radiation and also used for transmission for, of radiation over several way, several places. some of the detectors uh, what which we use are photo emission detector optical excitation thermal effect de detector thermal effect detector consists of thermal barometer which is used for temperature uh, which is used for purpose of temperature detection and and all and then using these detector in several ways image acquisition is done like using single detector 
using linear array of detector, using area array of detector and so on. We will see this in one by one. First image acquisition using single detector. In single detector what we do is image of some area is acquired by moving this detector in two, di two direction. Once this detector is moved over two direction x and y then the whole area will be covered. For example see this. If this is the detector sensing this portion and mo moving there this portion then one by one this will uh, acquire this this area and then another direction is this then th this will acquire this area and the whole plot will be covered so th this detector needs to move in two two, di two direction one direction is done by rotation of its axis with help of rotate rotating mirror one direction is done by rotating mirror by rotating that detector covers the one direction and another direction is done by platform motion. Platform is moving in one direction. So one direction is done by platform motion. So in this way single detector is used for detecting the image of area. This, this type of technique is inexpensive. This type of technique is inexpensive but slow because detector needs to move in x direction and y direction for covering the whole area. But because we are using single detector, it is very high resolution image we ob obtain. Next, moving further, image acquisition using linear array of detector. Lin in linear array of detector, what happens? One direction one direction is completed with help of arranging detectors in one line. Now we don't need to move or rotate the detector in one direction to cover one uh, this x, x direction. This linear com combination of detector will uh, will occupy the image from the this whole region at once and this this will cover one direction. And then another direction will be done by platform motion. So it is quicker than previous one because in this only one direction need to be moved and which is done by platform motion. So linear area of detector is very frequently used in airborne and space borne imaging. It is faster than single detector and both single and linear detector both work as a scanning technique. We will see the scanning technique and then we will understand why I am writing this line here. Now moving to next part that is image acquisition using area array of detector. In area array of detector, detectors are arranged in two dimensional way. In two dimensional way. Detectors are arranged. So once these detectors are placed over a portion of land it will give a two dimensional image of the land in one go so it does not need to move either in the direction of x or y so it will give just image in one go so this type of detector is called non scanning type this is more quicker but this is not used because it gives low resolutions low resolutions and it has limited uses. So it is mostly used in aerial cameras and nowhere else. It is a non-scanning type technique. So this is all about detectors. Next thing we are going to learn is scanning type sensor and non-scanning type sensor. But we will see this in next video because our this video is getting lengthy. And also I want you all to understand the process of image acquisition using detectors. And if you are getting any kind of doubt, then please contact with us, either in mail or in the comment. We will solve all the doubts. And again, I am saying to join our telegram group because we are going to give some questions regarding our modules. And by solving those questions, you are able to 
wash up your theory theoretical knowledge which which is helpful for your gate examination so thank thank you that's all from this video and we will meet in next next video thank you